This is my motorized bike. Let's go to the fender. Bicycle rack and saddlebags bought separately on eBay. Four horsepower. Um, what is this? Skyhawk motor. Entire kit, one hundred and thirty-nine dollars online. Uh, this particular motor works very well. I had to replace the cylinder head; it got cracked pretty bad. Most of the parts that came with this kit had to be replaced because of the poor quality. That includes the spark plug, cap, and wire and um, uh, inline fuel filter, fuel hoses, um, and a few other knickknacks. There's a very uh, vulnerable fuel tank and that's how close it is to where you see it. So I've read all sorts of reports online that when people drop these tanks they start to leak so wiping out on these bikes is probably not a good deal. That's the clutch release, brakes, headlight that I put on, custom, speedometer, choke, this is the gear shift that came with the bike, brake, and accelerator. Fuel tank holds about one gallon of fuel, you can get about 150 miles on one tank. Looking on the other side, this only has about 50 miles on it. I really haven't ridden it that much. Just put it together as a nice home project. The thing I don't like about these bicycles in particular is a solution that they designed for coupling the motor to the rear wheel. It uses that donut configuration with nine nuts and bolts sandwiched onto the hubs or onto the spokes. Problem with that is after you ride it around for a while each of those nuts get loose. So you're constantly having to check and retighten everything. So but overall it's a nice project. Proud of myself. Thanks.